Part 2. Azure Moon. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Kingdom Army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. I don't think the follow-ups, or heals, or possibly even the guards, show up in the combat forecast when you use adjutants. Which, uh, makes things a little bit more opaque, a little bit harder to understand, and require a little more thinking to see. We have received a report from our spy. It would seem the Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Murden. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. <gasps> if House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords, gather troops, and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. If you wish to indulge in nostalgia, do it elsewhere. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. It is also my home. I will make the request to my father. If things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the Church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. If we wait too long, we'll lose the advantage. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the Alliance hopes to achieve. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grander Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. We won the Battle of the Eagle and Lion back in the day. It seems like a lifetime ago. I can't help but remember, even though I wish I didn't. Our feast after the battle, I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. No, please stop it. I had finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. Why not march up to Her Majesty and a reminder of that? Oh, that's right, because you want to live to see tomorrow. No matter who the enemy is, I will fight for his highness. Tell me, Boar Prince, do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. That's enough, Felix. We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire. But it's possible we will also have to strike down the Alliance. Your Highness, do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? I'm used to killing familiar faces by now.
Let's see if there are any new items in stock. It doesn't seem to be. These would be worth buying, but uh, I don't have enough units that I can use them yet. I suppose we'll explore. does it? Well, allow me, as a professional recluse with ten years of experience, to volunteer for... um... staying behind. Oh, who am I kidding? The fighting won't stop until we've defeated Edelgard, will it? Or until we lose, I guess. But there's not much use in thinking about that. Since then, can you recall whether it was before or after I joined your class, Professor? That is not at all the case, Professor. Your memory serves you poorly. It was shortly after I joined your class. I remember it like it was yesterday. No. crossing the borders of the Empire to battle their army. I never thought I'd see the day. You'd never guess from the calm looks on everyone's faces, though. I mean, we're probably all gonna die, let's be honest. His Highness, Lord Rodrigue, you? There's really something wrong with a lot of you, I swear. Professor. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. I hear we're sending troops to Grander Field next. Is that what's what? That whole area is in the territory of House Burglies. It's famous as the main granary of Fodlum. If we could capture it, we probably wouldn't have to worry about food anymore. Bread for all! Reconnaissance is becoming more of a risk the deeper we move into enemy territory. If I don't come back, assume I'm dead. I'm glad you think so highly of me, but we have to be realistic. Don't waste your energy worrying about me.
Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. 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 Come back soon. Professor. Hmm. Welcome. Come back soon. Tell your friends. Pardon me. People die, food becomes scarce, weapons and rations start selling like hotcakes, nobles start begging for loans. Oh, huh. I didn't mean... I didn't mean for that to sound so cold, really. Anyway, where are we off to this time? I hope it's the Alliance. Pardon me. a hand. Edelgard's presence suggests that Hubert is around too. He is minister of the Imperial household after all. He's been around Edelgard since they were children. I suppose he must be pretty happy with his current position. Word just reached me that the Empire has stationed soldiers in Fort Mercius. If they decide to dig in their heels and defend the fort, we'll be in a difficult situation. I hear it's an impregnable keep, surrounded by high ramparts. Taking it would not be easy. Well, what when undertaking research, the usual method is to form a hypothesis then test it with experiments. Those experiments reveal facts and falsehoods, yet sometimes they also unveil an exception. You seem to be that exception when it comes to my crest research. Worry not, Professor. Exceptions are what make my work interesting. Why don't the rules apply to you? I will find out eventually. I feel it is my destiny as a Crest Scholar. This experience is critical. territory. We can expect the war to get even more intense from here on out. 
I'm really feeling the tension now. I have almost no experience with battles of this scale. Professor, I'll be grateful for your leadership on the battlefield. I know I can trust you. I once saw the prince patting the head of an orphan from the monastery. Does this mean even that cruel man has some empathy in his heart? Was it just a random whim? Maybe my eyes just tricked me. As powerful as our knights are, we're outnumbered by a long shot. This won't be easy. It's crazy to attempt this. I guess I'm crazy to go along with it. Protect my friends. Forgiveness. Say we do manage to take down Edelgard here. What do you think His Highness will do next? As long as there's a plan, I won't complain. I just, you know, want to know there is a plan. <laughs> well, I'd be happy if that were the case, but I don't figure that'll actually happen. All this isn't just gonna magically end the moment we kill Edelgard. It's gone too far. I suppose we should focus on the battle right in front of us, instead of what happens later.
You have my sincerest gratitude. Circumstances and my wounds have prevented me from being by His Highness's side these five years. I am grateful that you have found him for me. I am once again in your debt. <laughs> I can finally kill her. Finally, I can avenge them. Need something? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. So, we're finally going to set foot in the Empire. I'm starting to get a little nervous. We already fought Ferdinand at the Great Bridge of Murden, but... I guess there's a good chance we'll be fighting more old friends from here on out. If we defeat the Imperial Army at Grander Field, what will our next objective be? I guess we won't have much choice but to try to take Fort Mercius, on the far side of Grander Field. It's probably too soon for us to be thinking about that, isn't it? The battle just ahead of us is far from certain. Thank you very much. Yet another grand battle awaits. Many will lose their lives. Yes, let's. We must both make it home in one piece, even considering those we are up against. Friends from the time now past. I won't hold back. Even considering the... I heard Edelgard is going to be leading her forces personally in the next battle. Seems pretty reckless to charge right into this one. I'm not sure I like our chances. What do you think? I don't know why you're so confident, but it does somehow make me feel better. Anyway, we've come this far. Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other and see how far we get. I'm getting the hang of this. Thank you very much. Catherine will surely be able to convince Count Karen. All that remains is to wait for a response from the Alliance side. For now, there are preparations to be made for the coming battle. What do you think? Um, thank you for bringing me here. I've been given permission to take part in this next mission, too. I'll finally be able to avenge my brother. I swear. I'll take down that monster. Thank you very much. What do you think? I hear the next battle could be a big one. Is that true? I miss the old days when if someone got hurt, we'd rush them to the infirmary and make them well. But on the battlefield, there's not enough time to help. People die. Professor, don't be one of those. The thought of fighting people who were once our friends? It makes my heart heavy. If it was gonna come to this, Maybe I should have avoided making friends with people from the Empire and the Alliance to begin with. I just don't know, Professor. I'm having a hard time with it. It did often seem strange to me at the Academy that we were studying with all these people from all over the world. But I feel like I've finally started to understand the real reason behind it. The more you get to know people from other places, the harder you'll try to avoid fighting wars with them.
Thanks. Thanks. I'm glad I asked you. I can't believe how long it's been since I left home. Since I was dragged out of the house, I mean. Five whole years. It's weird to think about. No. But if you'd asked me that five years ago, I'd have said the opposite. I have friends here, and I have you. The monastery's become a second home to me. Back then, I never would have dreamed a day like this would come. It's all thanks to you. You've given me a second chance at life. If not for you, I never would have gotten used to leaving my room, let alone the monastery. Maybe the battlefields just dulled my senses. I'm much better with strangers and new places now, though. I don't panic nearly as much as before. A new place? All on my own? That sounds like a tough assignment. Where did this come from all of a sudden? Hey, hold on. You're teasing me, aren't you? Please don't joke around like that anymore. It's torture for me. You're still not taking me seriously. I mean it. Promise me you won't do that again. Friends respect each other's feelings, don't they? Good. I'll hold you to that. You're absolutely not allowed to send me out anywhere on my own. Got it? You would need to come with me. If you're with me, I can go anywhere in the world. No! Oh, that defeats the purpose! Why can't you get what I'm saying? I thought we were finally getting close. I guess I'm not good enough for that, though, am I? I'll let you have this one, but you better be ready for next time. Gotta keep this place clean, and I mean properly clean, every day. Dust it, sweep it, everything. You never can tell when Lady Rhea might be back. Perhaps. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Professor. Sorry, I was a little lost in thought there, about all that has happened and all that is to come. I'm sure the battles ahead will not be easy, but please take good care of His Highness. Still trying to get enough riding skill levels to move them into the Bonite class successfully. It was not. It was not. Quite. Oh, that's a relief. I understand. <laughs> I've learned. I did. I'm. I did. <laughs> I did. Thanks for. 
So if she deals damage to an enemy, the enemy's magical attack will be reduced by 6 probably for a turn. So far there haven't been any um, really really incredible cutting down skills. I think Bernadette's is the one I like most, pass, being able to move through enemy units. Understand more every day. All think. I appreciate your efforts. I have deepened my understanding. Let's make sure to do his goals are still good. I'd like you to explain something. Understood. I'm glad we're teaming up. This will be easy for the two of us. We did some great work. I'm really getting it. Let's see it in action. Alright, so let's try some of these new abilities out. Dimitri has Pomp and Circumstance, which just gives a uh, luck and uh, charm bonus. I mean, his luck isn't very high, so having a little extra luck will help him avoid being critted. But I don't think I'm going to use that skill, actually. But what I will do is I will reclass him into Great Lord now. Whatever it takes. We also have a, peop a couple people who reach S rank in bows and should have bow crit. I think Shamir's one. Ash is the other. So. I think I'm going to remove Authority 
And that bow crit. I could remove, like, HP, but his HP is sort of middling. The extra HP really helps, I think, still. Dexterity also increases crit, so having dexterity and crit is better than just having crit. Uh, it helps bring those crit percentages up above the enemy's luck stat. Felix must be close ass. He does have hit plus 20 at this point. So I should be able to take him out of the archer class and put him back in the sniper class. A chance to grow stronger. Which will increase his damage by five because of both hair. writing skill yet. Ash yeah, seems to also be kind of far away. But he doesn't have land skill. His writing skill is fairly close. Felix also missing lance and riding. Seventy-four percent. It's not great, and it'll be a shame if I lose the Master Seal, but I should be able to steal a few more, I think. So I'll risk it. Like losing two silver weapons. That's a nice result. So I believe she doesn't yet have a gold star in the archer class, so I might want to put her back in archer until she gets one. Better learn this quickly. to trade Bernadetta's experience gem to Shamir so that hopefully she gets more archer experience and gets out of the class a little faster. Also, while we don't have any flyers, we do have a shield with very low weight that provides some defense that we stole.
And that's probably going to be a little better for Ingrid. Giving to do the Hexlock shield will definitely help his port of distance. But I think the idea with him is to just stack defense as high as possible. So I may end up giving the Hexlock shield to Gilbert instead. Because he suffers from the same problem. have a few repairs to make. Bullions to sell. Oh, looks like we took care of that already. We do have a couple stat boosters to use. Like 30 and charm. Should get some more S ranks in bows at the very least, and probably lances and axes fairly soon. So that'll probably be a time to swap up some more abilities. I guess we'll watch some support conversations and then go to the events for this week. Hey, wait. What is it? You defended me in battle. Why? His Highness does not wish for our military strength to be depleted. The loss of your strength would be significant. You are a colossal idiot. One slip up and you would have died. You think you would have been happy about that? No, I do not. Then why protect me? I thought you were his mindless weapon, his sword and shield. I heard about your brother. He was a Dusker. He died to protect his highness. He did, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Are you repaying some kind of debt? 
I hope you're not going to praise his death. I hear enough of that from my old man. I will not praise it then. Instead, I will say, I would have done the same in his position. Is it really so unnatural to put one's life on the line to protect a brother in arms? To hear a rabid dog call me a brother in arms. Your insults are merely an attempt to avoid addressing me as what I am. I am a man of Dusker, yet you were concerned for my life. Concerned is a strong word. Your death would have been unpleasant, that's all. Coming from you, that is enough. What's that supposed to mean? I just meant... <sighs> never mind. Okay, go ahead, protect me. But if you act like a fool and get yourself killed, I'll kill you. How can you kill me, if I am already dead? I... you, you know what I meant. You're quite late getting back. <sighs> the scouting mission didn't go well. I was so busy, I didn't even have time to eat. I thought that might be the case. Gilbert was exhausted too. Glad you made it. I saved some food for you. Oh, thanks. I'm starving. Your cooking's fantastic, as always. The spices were a nice touch. I could really taste the Dusker inspiration. You remembered that I wanted to try more Dusker cuisine, didn't you? Yes. How is it? Amazing? You're a much better chef than I am. Your cooking is not bad at all. <laughs> Thanks. My father would be glad to hear it. Is he the one who taught you? Not exactly. I learned from watching him work the kitchen in his restaurant. And what about you? I think you said that you and your sister helped with the cooking at home. Yes. I learned by watching my mother. Nothing remains of Dusker. The towns, the people, the culture. All of it was put to the torch. My mother and sister are gone. Yet that simple memory of them standing together in the kitchen is so clear, so real. So in a way, you put those memories into this meal. Yes. Through me, they are able to live on. I like that way of thinking. The church may not like my feelings on this, but... In Fodlin, when people die, they pass on to be with the goddess, right? I suppose. That seems so far away. I'd rather they stayed here. My parents, my brother, Lanato. Maybe they can all live on through me, too. As long as you think of them, they will. To do. Your cooking is delicious. It really is. Careful, or you will oversalt it. <laughs> That's all right. Thank you, To do. Eat as much as you'd like. Do? Are you okay? You look unwell. Ingrid. Is my face frightening? Uh, what? I mean, um, or sort of? Or not exactly. I wouldn't use the word frightening. Aggressive, maybe? But it's really nothing to worry about. Why? Did someone say something cruel? I made a village child cry. Oh. I see. Let me guess. You feel like you look frightening, so you walked around with a smile glued to your face. How did you know? I'm starting to understand how you think. The thing is, forced smiles never work well. They usually just end up making a person look creepy and insincere. I see. Duly noted. To be honest, when we first met, I was pretty intimidated by you. Not because of a smile, but a lack of any emotion whatsoever. And you so rarely spoke. I had no idea what to make of you. 
But that's only because I wasn't making an effort to get to know you. Because you were from Dusker. As I started to get to know you, to understand your personality, I realized what a fool I'd been. Personality? You may come off intimidating, but underneath that cool exterior is a kind, loyal, and noble person. A really wonderful person. In a certain regard, you are one of the knightliest people I know. Hmm. What is it? Wonderful person. This is the first time anyone has ever said a thing like that to me. It is rather... awkward. It's only awkward if you make it awkward. Which it kind of is, now. Ugh. <laughs> well, let me know if you need anything. Yes, of course. The same to you, Dudu. Forgive me. <laughs> it's fine. Honestly, it's pretty funny when you think about it. I did not expect the horse to react so violently when I approached. No kidding! And I didn't expect the two of us to get covered in hay. Animals have never taken to me. It must be as you said. My face is the problem. I have not honed my smile well enough. I deeply regret the trouble I've caused you. Don't be ridiculous! And especially don't be sad. It's no trouble at all, I promise. Everyone makes mistakes. Isn't that what you've been trying to teach me? Yes, I suppose so. It does look like this will take a while to clean up. But if we work together, it'll be done in no time. I am truly sorry. Don't apologize. When it's your turn for stable duty, I'm happy to help. Really? Sure. And in return, you can help me out when I'm on kitchen duty. Of course. By the way, I tried out all that stuff you mentioned before, about how to not be a scatterbrain. I'm still pretty hopeless, but thanks to you, I'm making fewer mistakes. It's probably not a good idea for me to be left alone around knives and boiling water, though. That's why it'll be really nice knowing you have my back. You have changed. Huh? You no longer fear approaching me for help. You simply ask. And now, when the need arises, I will rely on you, too. Sylvain! Hey, Felix. I'm glad you're safe. You irresponsible fool! Protecting me like that? You're so weak, and yet you always... always... Look, it doesn't matter. As long as you're safe. You can go on living, while I... Stop kidding around! You're not going to die. I won't let you! <laughs> nah, I won't die on you, I promise. You think something like this could kill me? No way. A little magic will take care of the wound. Some bed rest, then I'm good to go out and do it all over again. Sylvain? Oh, come on, that was funny. It's not like you to be so concerned. <sighs> you really are a fool. The biggest in all of Fodlin. I thought something was off. There's no way you could die from such a small cut. You're so reckless and inattentive. I thought this might be divine punishment. Hey, that's not nice. You should be thanking me. I am grateful. You've been doing this since we were children. Constantly fooling around, but then showing up and helping when we really need you. I'll admit, seeing that smile on your face, I almost want to give you a hug. Almost. A hug? Did you get hit on the head? Come on. Tell me you want to hug me again. I liked it. I won't be repeating it, you halfwit. You're obviously fine, so I'll leave now. You know how we grew up together? 
Obviously. Do you remember the promise we made when we were kids? About sticking together until we die together? I remember. Well, I'm really not trying to get myself killed before you. You know that, right? I know. I know. But I'm tired of these close calls. You have to stop fooling around. Take your training more seriously. You can die whenever you please, but I'm not going down with you. Okay, I get it. Once I've healed, I'll get my act together. <laughs> then I hope you have a speedy recovery. Sylvain, thank you. That's what friends are for, Felix. I'm happy to eat alone, but all right. I'd rather eat alone in my room, but since that's apparently not allowed... Okay. I appreciate that. This is my fave. This. time we press forward, our search for Rhea broadens to a wider area. I certainly hope we will find at least some clue. But I do suspect I already know where she is, if I'm right. 
and she is in the Imperial capital, then we cannot save her until we topple the Empire. since we last spoke, Professor. Spare me a moment again, will you not? You recall how you helped me and allowed me to join your class, yes? I have learned a great many things since then. Indeed, I have truly grown so much. This personal growth is due in large part to you, and I wish to express my gratitude, sincerely. Excuse me? Are you implying that I am still naive? I will have you know that I have made many friends and am constantly learning new things. Why, when I go to the market, alone, I even haggle. You must be familiar with the delicate art of haggling, in which one negotiates a lower asking price for an item. That is the type of knowledge common only to those as mature as myself. Who? Me? Um... Have you not asked this once before? It is a bit rude to ask repeatedly, you know. Is that so? Well, it seems we have something in common, since I do not know your age either. Come now, there is nothing to be gained from focusing so heavily on age. Touching on a previous discussion, I think I have learned more about you. I mentioned how you possess an air of mystery. I compared you to any old sea. But I have come to realize you are more like a particular sea, one I have seen before. When I was quite small, my mother would take me out to play in the sea. She was an excellent fisher, my mother. I grew to love fish deeply because of her. Well, you see, fish are... Oh, er, wait. I was talking about the sea, was I not? Anyhow. I sense that, like the sea, your depths are seemingly impenetrable. Yet, despite your unknowable depths, there is something familiar about you. It's as if we have met somewhere long, long ago. No, I do not think so. It is all quite strange, really. Still, I do not think you could be a complete stranger either. Both your hair and eyes are unmistakably... Hmm? Oh, apologies. Just muttering to myself. It is nothing. Mutterings aside, I mean to say that you do not feel like a stranger to me. For whatever reason, I feel deeply connected to you. And for this, I am glad. <laughs> I guess it's... I'm getting the hang of this. I'll use this power for the greater good. What do you think? Anyway. Even considering...
Of course. This could be was This could be Is this my true talent? Let's do. You're good. You're good. You're good. I'm getting it. Professor.
A fine result. Of course. It's all instinct now. Looks like I'm getting it. Yeah! Catherine has successfully convinced Count Karen. However, the knights we sent to the Alliance have yet to return. Army at Grander Field. What will our next objective be? I guess we won't have its prop the battle. So, what we all I guess if Professor, it's been a while. Well, actually not that long. If you're here about the reinforcements, no need to worry. I've sorted everything out with my father. If the Alliance agrees to chip in as well, we might have a real chance at victory.
Okay. Each time we press forward, I certain if I'm right. This experience is critical. For the two of us? Yes.
I don't really want to fight in a volcano again. This is... After that sounds... If we define it, it's the battle. So, would we all right? I guess it's. There's quite a bit of fog settling in. We won't be able to advance our troops very far in this. We won't be able to move at all until the fog lifts. No matter which path we take, we'll have to be patient and wait it out. Gilbert? No? Gustav. I would like to take this opportunity to speak with you about something. It's about the tragedy of Dusker. There's something about it I just can't wrap my head around. I'm listening. I lost a son in Dusker that day. I exhausted every last resource I had to investigate what took place there. I was startled to find that there wasn't a single shred of evidence to suggest that Lady Patricia's carriage had been attacked. Go on. Apart from His Highness, whose injuries left him on the verge of death, everyone else present at the time was slaughtered. Of all the victims, only the corpse of Lady Patricia, His Majesty's second wife, was never found. Isn't that right? Hmm. Surely that means she was abducted. There was no evidence of an attack, suggesting they threatened her, but did not kill her. But what reason would they have to take her? 
Would it not have been better to kill her? Perhaps she had some value as a diplomatic pawn. Nonsense. In the many years since that day, has Lady Patricia ever been used thus? No, not as far as I know. Then perhaps she was used for some political gain within the Empire. Now that her daughter is the Emperor, what reason would she have to keep hiding her existence? It is possible she passed away after returning to the Empire. Gustav, I know this is hard for you to hear, but just consider what it would mean if Lady Patricia was involved with that incident. Silence, Rodrigue. I will not allow you to tarnish her memory like that. I do not mean to imply that she arranged His Majesty's murder or anything of the like. But Gustav, I cannot shake the feeling that the tragedy was part of a much larger conspiracy. There is more to it than we know. That much is certain. Rodrigue! Gilbert! Please hurry! To kill like this is inhuman. This is one of the knights we dispatched to the leader of the Alliance. Tell me everything you know. Sir, a soldier on patrol came across this night a short while ago, in a rocky area not far from here. Someone from the Alliance must have disposed of the body there. Is this how the Alliance chose to inform us that they have no intention of joining our cause? Yes. I would not hesitate to believe them capable of this. Whatever the truth is, the other knights we dispatched are in serious danger. It's best to assume that joining with the Alliance is out of the question now. Even with Count Karen's support, this makes our situation grim. I never expected the Alliance to help us. Anyone who stands in my way will be crushed beneath my feet. It is time, dear brother. Let's see if all that training gets us any closer to certifying anyone. You won. Eight, so we're getting there, slowly. Nine. They're all about halfway, it looks like. Leone and Shamir are already there. Eighty-six percent chance of great night for Gilbert. That's probably worth risking. Success. Fifty fifty for angry. Sylvain has ninety one per cent. So we'll take that. Huh, okay. No big deal, really. And that should really help out with mobility. They only have move 7, which makes sense, but it's still a lot better than 4.
it will be pretty hard to get all the way up into Great Knight because he has a weakness in riding. He also will be hard to get to Wyvern Lord because he has a weakness in flying. I think he's intended to be a War Master because he has strengths in Axe and Brawling. I suppose if I dump all of the resources into training riding, we could get him in a great night eventually. Might be fine to just leave him as a fortress knight though. We should give him a battalion. We'll give him Dusk Dusker Infantry for now. I don't think we can give him the, uh... Dusker Heavy. But eventually that would probably be a good choice for him. Looks like we have some supports to go through. Is that singing? The blue sea glimmers in the dark. The red canyon calls. Goddess, reach in dreams. To her throne she falls. Well, Gilbert, what do you think? My lady, you were not meant to notice me. Nobody could miss a good man like you. My apologies for interrupting. Please excuse me. No, Gilbert, hold on a moment. You're not disturbing me, truly. I want very much to know what you thought of my singing. The least you can do is tell me. You were lovely. You sounded lovely. Lovely. Is that what you really feel? Please, be honest. Why would you suppose I was dishonest? That is not the look of someone who just heard what they deemed to be lovely. It hurts my confidence when my voice can't even lure a fleeting smile to your face. It's as though my singing voice has died since stepping off the middle franc stage. My Lady Manuela, that could be no further from the truth. If that's the case, then Gilbert, I challenge you to a duel! My singing versus your iron mask. I will break through, and I will see passion in your eyes. Why did she leave so suddenly? And what could she have meant by a duel? Something is surely troubling her. Aloise. Ah! A ghost! I'm sorry! Oh, forgive me, forgive me, please forgive me! Calm down. It's just me. That, that voice, it's... Shamir? Ah! It's Shamir. 
Oh, you frightened me. My heart was beating so hard I thought it would burst out my nose. Your heart's in your chest, not your head. Can you try not to be so stealthy when you're approaching a fellow knight? Your reaction was excessive. Are you afraid of ghosts? Uh, I suppose there's no point in hiding it. I'm terrified of them. Terrified? Of ghosts? I didn't mean to pry. There's no need to... No, no, I, I want to get it off my chest. <sighs> that time when we were on our way back from a mission, do you remember what I asked you? You asked if I ever think about the people I've killed. Yes. You said you never do, but me, I... I can't go a day without thinking about them. The feel of my weapon cutting through them, their twisted faces, their cries of pain, and that awful scent of blood. I was carrying out my duties, but, but that doesn't make it easier for me to forget. And the dead haven't forgotten me either. Their hatred, their resentment, their curses. One day, the spirits will set upon me for revenge. Ooh. I apologize for striking you, but it had to be done. Have you calmed down? <sighs> yes, thanks. I needed that. I'm surprised someone like you managed to become a knight. Or perhaps that's why you became one. So Dark Mages use the Dark Seal. I've set my sights higher. Since you can only take one certification exam per week, I think, um, I'm gonna try to unlock as many of the certification classes as I can for Byleth. Just in case there's something in there that uh, I may want or, or find useful later. That's pretty unlikely. Mainly it might help me train uh, in like an auxiliary battle, a certain skill, especially for like movement types. Cavalier will be pretty good for that. Well, that should cover all the preparations needed for mission. And in the next one, we'll actually do the main storyline battle for chapter 17.